Hi kids, we are going to continue our work today. We started estimating quotients using compatible numbers and we learned that the word compatible meant that we are using numbers that are easy to compute mentally. We don't have to put a lot of thought into it. This example that we used from class today, a horse's heart beats 132 times in three minutes. About how many times does it beat in a minute? We were going to determine what this word about meant. And we decided that whenever we see that word, we know that we're going to estimate. So we started working on this problem, 132 divided by 3. The first thing that we tried was to estimate around 132 to 130 and then divide that by 3. So we were thinking to ourselves what times 3 is going to give us 13. Well, we knew that there is not a number times 3 that will give us 13, but there's a number that will give us about 13. Get us close, and we decided that number would be 4. But when we subtract it, we got a remainder of 1, and we know that when we are working with rounding or trying to estimate, we're not going to have any remainders in our, um, in our work at all. So we had to come up with a different estimation. So we could not use this one at all. We finally got to 120 divided by 3, and we tried this. From there, we decided that 3 times 4 is 12, and then when we subtracted that, we would not get a remainder. So this, in, in actuality, would work out for us. So we were looking at 12 divided by 3, which gave us 4, and then we have our 1, 0. So we can answer this question about how many times does it beat in a minute, and that answer would be about 40 times in one minute. Now, we have another problem that we're going to work on solving together. Jake is planting seeds for a garden nursery. He plants nine seeds in each container. If Jake has 296 seeds to plant, about how many containers will he use? So again, we're going to know that we're estimating, and our division is going to be 296 divided by 9. We're looking at this number, 296, our dividend, and we can clearly see that it is not compatible with 9. So we're going to have to figure out what can we estimate 296 to to make it compatible with 9. So in this case, I am going to actually estimate around down. I'm going to go to 270. So I'm looking at 29, these first two digits, and I'm going to pay close attention to how I can make these digits compatible with the 9. So when I am dividing, I know that I'm going to be looking at my basic division facts of 27 divided by 9, and that is going to give me 3 and then I have this one zero, which is 30. So this is going to be about 30, okay? So how, about how many containers will he use? He will use about 30 containers when I'm answering that question. We also worked on using compatible numbers to find two estimates that the quotient will be in between. And so we had to use the same thought process with the exception of the fact that we're looking for two estimates this time and not just the one. And in this case, we were looking at 1,000. So we were looking at 1,382 divided by 5. And we're trying to make sure that we find a compatible number for our divisor 5. And while we are working on looking at that, I always like to look at the first two digits, 1 and a 3, to make 13. I can clearly see that 13 is not going to be compatible with 5. But if I take the 13 and make it a 10, then I know that 10 is compatible with the divisor 5. So I can have this at 1,000. And this is the exact same one that we did in class that we worked on. So we had 1,000 divided by 5, and we saw that the 10 divided by 5 is 2, and then we have 1, 2 zeros for 200. And then I need to 
do this one more time because I need to find a second number because remember I'm trying to find two estimates that the quotient could be between. And also I can say that the 1 and 3 I can make that a 15 because 15 would be divisible by 5. So now this would be 1500 or 1500 divided by 5. And I take out um, my basic division facts. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And I have 1, 2 zeros. So I can say that my quotient is going to be between 200 and 300. Now I would like for you to look at this next one. 5,321 divided by 6. Pause the video and you try to find the two that it is between. Okay, let's see how you did. We could take this number 53 and we can round it down to 48 because that would be our next closest one. And so remember, this is not the same way that we would be looking at exact rounding where you're trying to figure out if it's five or higher, four or lower, those kinds of things. We're trying to look about look at compatibility. So 48 divided by 6 would be 8. And then we have these two zeros. So that will have that would be 800. And then we have 54 divided by 6 would be 9. And then two zeros and we have 900. So we can say that our quotient is going to be between 800 and 900. Now I have some more of these that I would like for you to practice. You also have a practice worksheet with you for even more additional practice that we started on in class tonight, today. So for tonight in your journals, I want you to try these problems here using compatible numbers to estimate the quotient and then using compatible numbers to find the two estimates that the quotient is between. So these are the five problems that I would like for you to work on. Don't forget to go on to Edmodo and let me know that you have watched the video. Make sure that you practice with purpose. You take your time. No need to work. No need to rush. And if there's anything that you need to see again, make sure that you go back and view it again. Thank you. See you in class tomorrow.